The Trudeau family spends more on groceries than many Canadian families earn in an entire year. And the overwhelming majority of that grocery bill, consistently over 80% of it, well, it's paid for by you. The numbers are staggering. You won't believe it if I told you. Good thing I have the documents to prove it. And last Sunday, I said to the kids, you're older now. You don't want to watch Disney anymore. Let's cut that Disney Plus subscription. So we cut it. It's only $13.99 a month that we're saving, but every little bit helps. And I think every mother in Canada is doing that right now. And I want to say to all of those mothers, I believe that I need to take exactly the same approach with the federal government's finances. Are the Liberals actually making sacrifices like the rest of us to deal with inflation caused by the Liberal government's overspending and schizophrenic fiscal mismanagement? Or are they telling us to live one way while they live another? Sort of like when Justin Trudeau decided to ban single-use plastics while simultaneously claiming to journalists to drink out of drink box water bottle sort of things, whatever those are. And what do you and your family do to cut back on plastics? Yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic uh, sorry away from plastic towards uh, paper um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. But you know what? Trudeau's own grocery bills, which Rebel News pulled through access to information filings, showed plenty of purchases of good old fashioned bottled water. Well, Saskatchewan Conservative MP Fraser Tolmey posed an order paper question to the Privy Council office very recently about Justin Trudeau's household expenses. Has Justin Trudeau tightened his belt along with the rest of us out of respect for the taxpayer who covers these costs, or at least the majority of these costs, or is Justin Trudeau like Marie Antoinette telling the rest of us to just eat some cake? You're not going to believe this. Tolmy's order paper question asked for the amount the Trudeau family is spending on groceries versus what the Trudeau family reimburses the taxpayer for their groceries and for their internet services. And the numbers here are astronomical mind-blowing. Let's get the internet out of the way really quickly because the Trudeau family spends well over $2,500 a year on their personal internet and cable services while reimbursing the taxpayer frequently less than half of that. But it's the groceries that are unbelievably insulting to the average Canadian family who is hammered by Trudeau's inflationary policies, carbon taxes, and of course other cash grabs. Maybe this stuff irritates me so much because I'm the grocery boss in my household, but I find this all very mind-boggling. On a low year, the Trudeau family spends nearly $60,000 in groceries, but the totals linger around $80,000 year over year in groceries for a family of five, same as my family of five. Sometimes their mother-in-law visits, sometimes mine lives here too. There's an odd looking drop in 2020, which I assume is when Sophie took the kids to live at the summer house at Harrington Lake. So those groceries are not counted in this. And the Trudeau family, they reimburse on the low end $12,000 per year for their groceries, up to $17,000 per year for their food. So to summarize, consistently under 20% of the grocery bill for the Trudeau household is covered by the Trudeau family, who are the ones eating all the groceries? Trudeau's a millionaire in his own right and well compensated for his role as our prime minister. He can feed his own family, like the rest of us feed ours. The order paper response notes that as a longstanding practice, the prime minister reimburses amounts related to food based on Statistics Canada data on household spending which is adjusted to the consumer price index to account for inflation. So he's just reimbursing us for the cost of the groceries for an average family of five, not his family of five. Great, I still don't care. And the most frightening part in all of this is that in 2023, which is not yet over, it's on par to blow the previous years out of the water. Trudeau's already at $87,000 a year in household grocery spending this fiscal year, which doesn't end until September. So while the rest of us have less money than ever to spend on our groceries, 
Trudeau is spending more of our money than ever on his own. In fact, his grocery spending this year will dwarf the annual household incomes of many Canadian families. To be clear, the annual household income for a Canadian family in 2022 was around $75,000. But friends, have you canceled your Disney Plus subscription yet? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Rebel News routinely files upwards of a dozen access to information filings every single week. Sometimes they're winners, sometimes they miss, but we don't know if we don't ask the questions. And we can't ask the questions without the support of our viewers at home who donate to offset our filing and research fees. If you'd like to contribute to our filing and research fund, please make a donation at rebelinvestigates.com.